Hello, in this video we are going to look at an example of how to use conditional statements and um, strings. So we're going to do both of these examples at the same time. Um, so we're going to take two strings and print out the longer one, and we're going to take those same two strings and we're going to print out a new string which consists of the longer string plus the shorter string. So really this distills down to I need to figure out which string is longer. So um, word one equals input input a word, word2 equals input, input a word, and I need to calculate, I need to do some comparisons to the lengths of the, of the words. Now I could do this and just calculate the lengths inside my conditional code, but especially for beginning programmers, I always recommend kind of making some secondary variable. So I'm going to call a second variable len word run, and it's going to be the length of word1, len word2, is the length of word two. So we want to print out the longer ones. We're going to say if len word one is greater than len word two, then we're going to print word one, else we're going to print word two. And now if I run this, Let's actually run it properly. There we go. Paul monkey prints out monkey. Monkey Paul prints out monkey. Now if I put Paul fish, notice that it prints out fish. And if I put fish Paul, it prints out Paul. So it's always printing out the second word if the words are of equal length. And the question didn't specify what to do if they're of equal length. But watch for that, because that's a way of, of, of taking this problem, making it a little bit more nuanced by, by talking about what to do if one word, if the two words have equal length. So for the second question, we want to take the two strings and print out a new string, which consists of the longer string plus the shorter string. So we're going to make, we're going to come up here, we're going to make a word three. And word three is going to be declared to an empty string, simply putting quotes like that. So in this case, um, this is a case where word one is longer than word two. So we're going to say word three in this case is equal to word one plus word two. And this is called concatenation. And otherwise, we're going to say word three is equal to word two plus word one. And then I'm going to give this a whirl. Oh, maybe I should print out word three. So if I run this, input a word, Paul monkey. And I get the printout the longer word and then combine monkey Paul. And if I run this again, I say now monkey Paul, we get the same output. So this is a nice example because it uses our idea of conditional statements, but it actually requires that we pull out the length of a word. Um, and that's a really important technique to have down pat. Now, like I said, what a lot of people would do in this problem is a lot of people would actually calculate the length of the words right inside the conditional structure. And that works as well. Then you don't need these two variables. Now there's pros and cons to this. It, it's a little bit of a, a tighter piece of code and that you have less variables. But bear in mind, if you, let's say for example, you had to do this a hundred times, every time you, you run your if statement, you actually have to calculate the length of the word again. So sometimes it's better off to calculate the length of the word in advance, store it in a variable. Um, and that means you do that process once. Just something to keep in mind and to think about as you go forward. If you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to ask.